What's up everybody and welcome to this newest episode of Recent Pickups. This is for August 24th, 2011. Woo! As always, I am your host Reptile7 and, well, Blue Starry Eyes isn't feeling the greatest, so yeah. Not going to be commenting this time. So let's jump into this. It's been about a month since the last Recent Pickups video. So to kick things off, it's not a video game, but it is game related new uh, novel that we picked up, Bioshock Rapture, which is pretty much a prequel to the whole damn thing. So, yeah. Blue Star Eyes picked this up. I, she'll obviously definitely read it before I do. And I'm just throwing shit around here. Woo! Anyway, um, I believe this is pretty new. It was on a new release rack, so... Yeah, there we go. Definitely adding to the game fiction. Uh, da, 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 da. Next up, we will go with how about a 64 game? Because I haven't picked one of these up in a while. Picked up Extreme G2, complete with somebody's shitty writing on the side. Actually, looks like it was a rental somewhere. I don't know though. There's no other stickers anywhere around it. By the way, went ahead and picked that up. I love the first Extreme G. I know that there's also Extreme G3, and I just recently saw a different one for the PS2, but I gotta look into that. Anyway, had the first one, enjoyed it. I played the second one, I've enjoyed it in the past, so I decided to finally go ahead and pick up a copy. So we got that. And next up, after watching an episode of Game Center CX, I decided to pick up Mighty Bomb Jack. Which, this is actually something I paid for, not before the last recent pickups, but before that one even. So, yeah, two recent pickups back, I paid for this one, it took that long to get it in the mail, but I won it on eBay for 99 cents, so I'm not bitching too much. Really fun game, um, as far as the, the French game record site vgr uh, fr.com I am number three on this game I have a number two record actually filmed but I really want to go for a number one spot so hopefully I'll get that soon enough and have a new video there uh, next up we have to work our way from back in time a Game Boy Color game, which, to be honest, um, I thought all Game Boy Color games were in clear cases with the little Nintendo Game Boy logo pushed out. But maybe that's just the first games that came out and they made the rest black. Because everywhere I've looked says this is a Game Boy Color game. But, yeah, Power Quest. Um... Probably the easiest way to describe this game is think of, I guess, metabots in a sense. Obviously, it's before all that, and a game that really should have taken off from the amount that we've played so far. Blue Star Eyes was really interested in this when we saw it at a game force, and yeah, we finally decided to pick it up, and definitely worth it. And next up, we have couple of Game Boy Advance games. Blue Star has decided to pick up Digimon Racing. It's Dingy... Blah. Dingimon? Blah. It's Digimon. Fun. Kitty. Um, yeah. Mario Kart with Digimon. So, awesome. Can't really say much more about that, but complete box. Um, yeah. Didn't really cost too much. Then, since I'm a Mega Man fan, she actually picked me up Mega Man Battle Network 3, the white version. Um, the box kind of bent up and faded, but it was <laughs> brand fucking new in there. Pretty much it was just sitting on a store shelf somewhere for a while, and yeah, got completely faded. But everything's in there complete. Everything was still wrapped in plastic, even. <laughs> and then, finally, something I came across and picked up. I originally wanted the Mega Man Zero collection for the DS, because I was always missing one, but now I have completed it. 
Mega Man Zero Two was the last one I was missing. Actually, never got it originally because I borrowed a friend's in high school and had played that while he played the first one that I had. But obviously, people move apart, things get lost, so. Never had access to the second one again. I had one, three, and four, so I finally found two for a reasonable price and grabbed that up right away. And we have the DS here. Uh, let's do this a little bit differently. These games actually are not new at all. We have Transformers Autobots, Animal Crossing, and as you can see, Transformers, Animal Crossing, and Digimon World Dawn. These are actually all games that were, well, obviously these two are right here. We just can't find the case for Digimon Dawn. These were games that were lost over at Blue Starry Eyes' uh, parents' house. We recently found them, so yeah, thought they were stolen at some point, but slowly we're coming across more and more stuff that's just kind of stashed away. Hopefully we'll find the, bo the blah, box to the Digimon World Dawn. But whatever. Then next up, uh, Blue Star has recently got in touch with one of her older friends, and we've been going over there and hanging out a lot recently with uh, her and her husband. So yeah, they recently wanted to get rid of quite a few games, and I went ahead and bought a few from them, giving them more money than they're worth. But whatever, it's helping them out. So I got Kinetica, which is a game I loved on the PS2, and. Nightshade, something that caught my attention a long time ago. Unfortunately, they got both of these games used, as you can see there, obviously, Blockbuster. So, both discs are kind of have some damage to them. There's no instruction manual and no art book with Kinetica, so, yeah, fuck. But, whatever, I was helping them out, and I've already seen I can get both of them complete online off eBay for pretty cheap, so... No real loss there, I just need to get a new PS2 so I can actually play these damn things. And let's see. Next up, I have gone ahead and gotten my first Nintendo Japanese game. One for the Super Famicom. And that is Front Mission Gun Hazard. Uh, apparently a... Well, area of our local flea market here, not the one by our parents' house, but the little crap one next to me. Finally got people who carry games at a reasonable price and have, well, awesome finds there. They had quite a few boxed games, some were still sealed, and they are pretty fucking cheap, so I'm looking forward to going back there this weekend. Um, only thing is, well, I saw this there, pretty cheap price. And I kind of decided, you know what, I really want to eventually start getting some Famicom games and Super Famicom. So let me go ahead and pick one up, that way it's sitting there staring at me telling me I have to get a, well, a way to play them. And I found a pretty cheap way with the Game Genie, but uh, yeah, haven't picked that up yet, and that'll be soon enough. So yeah, the first of my Japanese Nintendo games, finally here can't wait to collect some more of them and to actually play them and finally last but not least this is yeah one of the new 360s this one's just a little 4 gig one yes I'm just showing the system here we actually bought this brand new trading in her meaning Blue Star Eyes' old 360 it kinda gave us problems with online from time to time I have no idea why we couldn't figure it out but it was an older model, so before it crapped out on us, we decided to trade it in for a brand new 360. Only 4 gigs, but when it's a travel one, basically for us, travel or when she's at her parents' house, here we go. We have a 360 that keeps us going. <laughs> and yes, it was all complete. The box is actually just tucked away after we redid the whole room here. So... Brand new 360, whole stack of games, and yeah, look for more recent pickups videos coming up soon. Uh, blah. Yeah, a lot more videos coming up as well.
it's late. It's time to go to sleep because I got to work in the morning. Later, everybody.